Nobody's here. So it's a 10 minute wait, but I'm not, not so sure yet. I hear noises. and drought patterns is essential to the herd well-being. If the matriarch is killed by poachers, her experience is lost from a First animal. Given that black and white rhinos are so very much alike, one might imagine that the lifestyle should be so much as the This is just so unreal. Never in my lifetime would I think that I could just walk up to an attraction such as this at Walt Disney World's Animal Kingdom. Wow. your face covering on at all times, except when actively eating or drinking. Please keep your party together. Good morning. Good morning. And maintain physical distancing yes. between your party and others. Remember to wash your hands frequently throughout your visit, or use the sanitizer dispensing units provided. All right. Thank you. Thank you. It is very wooded. So keep those eyes open. Never quite know what we'll find amongst the trees and tree lines. If you see any wildlife out on the spot, make sure you let us all know. We want to find as much wildlife as possible. Oh, very cool. No copy off to our right. Might look a little bit like a zebra with the stripes on its legs, but not related to the zebra at all. It's actually the only known relative of the giraffe. Uh, being very shy, they weren't even discovered by Western cultures until 1901, even thought to be mythological at one point since they are so rarely seen. Also some bongo tar have left, commonly called the ghosts of the forest, since they do blend in nicely with their surroundings. Both male and female bongo have horns that help them maneuver through the thick brush of the forest. One problem many of these animals are facing, much of their habitats being mined for minerals to produce cell phones, laptops, and tablets. One way you can actually help these animals out is if you're done using those types of items, hand them down to your friends or family, or even recycle them, might make some money that way. You can help the animals out at the same time. Also a black rhino across the waterway Black rhino get their name from our black rhino, uh, often weighing about 3,000 pounds, uh, may look indestructible, but they're hit very hard by pollution. There's only about 5,000 left in the world today. Some cultures believe their horns 
have some form of medical value, but our rhino's horns are made out of keratin, just like your fingernails and your hair. So no real value in those horns at all. our way out of the little church forest. Oh, that's a saddle-filled store golf jar left often standing five feet in height at a nine-foot wingspan. As we make our way out of the little church forest, just over the sill is the Sofie River. Hopefully we'll find some wildlife living in or around the waterway of the Sofie River. Ah, some hippos in the waterway to our right, weighing about 5,500 pounds with 18 inch long teeth. Uh, they do spend most of their day in the water to keep from overheating, coming out primarily at night to feed on grasses. Ah, uh, more hippo in the waterway to our left. A group of hippos is called a bloat. They can hold their breath about seven to eight minutes, even sleeping underwater. Also, some pinkback pelicans along the waterway. Uh, pinkback pelicans get their name from the color of their feathers change during mating season. Very cool Nile crocodiles along the waterway, growing about 18 to 20 feet long, that can take down very large prey, such as zebra and wildebeest. In a single meal, they can eat about half their body weight worth of food. You might even see some with their mouths open to help regulate their body temperatures. We could just make sure our face coverings are over the nose, please. Since a Nile crocodile can take down a zebra or a wildebeest very easily, let's head on out towards the savannah where many of those types of creatures are uh, migrating or grazing across the savannah. A oh, very cool baobab tree off to our right, probably a couple thousand years old. It does go most of the year without leaves to conserve water, so many call it upside down tree since the limbs look like roots. As we make our way on to the savanna ahead of us, which is part of the Serengeti grasslands, uh, much of the appearance of the savanna does come from the wildlife living here. A giraffe prune back the trees allowing the light through the grasses to grow. Springbok, Eeling, Wildebeest, and many others act like lawnmowers, trimming back the tall grasses. I do see some Ancoli cattle off to our right, also known as uh, Watusi cattle, since the Watusi tribe domesticated them thousands of years ago. Uh, their large horns are actually hollow, allowing blood to run through them, acting like a radiator during the hot summer months. Also some Maasai giraffe, often standing about 20 feet in height, at birth are about 6 feet tall and can stand in under an hour after being born, allowing them to nurse from their tall mothers or run from predators if needed. Also some sable antelope emblem of the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. Oh, and very cool, amongst the grasses to our left, some wild dogs, also known as painted dogs. Uh, they're one of the most successful predators in all of Africa, teaming up as packs to run down their prey. Uh, they're successful at hunting about four out of five times they hunt. Come from a separate line of the canine family than your own pets, having four toes per paw.
definitely a good view of the sable to our left. saliva for termites. Elephants use them as back scratches until they're worn out like the one to our right. Another wildlife then use them as lookout posts for predators that may be lurking in the tall grasses. Also some Maasai giraffe here to our left. Definitely a good deal of them. They often uh, eat over 18 hours a day. Does anyone know what a group of giraffe is called? You're not far off. Uh, what if you were in a city, what would be tall like that? Getting closer. Well, imagine what that building would have been called hundreds of years ago. I always think of London when I hear the word. Yeah, a tower. A tower of giraffe. Oh, they can actually run over 30 miles an hour and their kick is strong enough to break the jaw of a lion. The two over here to our right uh, look like they're very young, maybe about a year and a half old. Or three of them over there, actually. Also, some Harpin's Mountain Zebra off to our right. I know two zebra ever have the same stripes, much like a person's fingerprints. Also some wildebeest out across the savanna. Uh, wildebeest are part of the largest migration on earth, often migrating over a thousand miles a year in search of greener grasses. Also some springbok. Springbok get their name from their ability to spring about six feet into the air, or 13 feet forward as they run. Just around the rocks to our left is Monkey Point. Uh, from there, it's a short drive to elephant country where hopefully we'll find some more wildlife. Oh, very cool, some mandrills off to our left. One of the largest variety of monkey in the world. Males weigh up to 100 pounds, females about 30 to 40. Oh well, yeah, there is a very young one, maybe a little over a week old there it looks like. Definitely a cool sight finding a new addition out here. if we can find some elephants out here. Our herd has been seen down this road to our right in the past. So hopefully we'll find some elephants in this direction. Definitely being a favorite of many here on the reserve. It looks like the road's closed. I was really hoping to find more elephants that way. I think I remember an old bridge around the corner though. Hopefully the old bridge is still there. It was really old the last time I saw it, so I'll keep my fingers crossed that it's still here. Ah, there's the old bridge now. It's still here, but it looks awfully old. Should we head over it? Alright, we'll head over poly poly, meaning very slowly since it does look very old. Looks like someone repaired it with some cables though, so it should be alright even kind of sounds old, but I think we're fine. It seems all right to me. There go our front tires, and there go our back tires. Made it across there, okay? 
I think we'll avoid that in the future. Seems a little too old to me. Uh, the right clay pits are just around the corner here. At times, the elephants are seen coming here. Type the uh, minerals to their diets. A very cool more elephants to our left. Herds are usually made up of just females and their children, often led by the eldest female in our herd. Chop them find food and water. One problem elephants at times have, they'll see farms as sources of food. Invading those farms for that food often leads to bad outcomes for both the farmer and the elephant. At the Disney Wildlife Conservation Fund, has been studying these issues and found that elephants don't like bees, they don't like being stung. So by adding beehives to farms, they can actually help protect both the farmer and the elephant from each other. Also providing a source of income for the farmer from the sale of the honey and the pollination of more crops. Also some greater flamingo along the waterway. Flamingo do get their pink coloration from the food they eat, consisting of shrimp and other small crustaceans. And they are hatched at more of a gray color, just like those along the waterway. They're getting in the pink about one to two uh, year, years of age. Actually, got to see some of those gray ones hatched just so, about a month and a half ago. Late June. Good view of both the elephant and the flamingo from here. One of our workers recently set up a display to our left of items taken from poachers. Helps remind us what we're trying to protect out here in the wild Africa. I see a water buck up through the thick brush to our right. Kind of tough to see through the thick brush. Uh, they have a very oily fur which helps keep them waterproof. Also kind of smells reek, which help keep predators away. around the corner are known as the Kopis. Hopefully we'll spot some more wildlife out here at the Kopis today. Oh, very cool. On the edge of the Kopis are left some lions often seen resting and sleeping about 20 hours a day. Uh, they're most active at night when the females do the majority of the hunting. Does anyone know the Swahili name for lion? I bet you know it. Yeah, you knew that. Some means lion in Swahili. Uh, their roars can be heard miles away, which help keep rats together. Also through the clearing to our right, a white rhino. Being much larger than the black rhino we saw earlier, they're often hunted and pooch for the same reason for their horns that are made out of keratin, just like your fingernails and hair. Definitely a good view of those lions. Also an ostrich 
back there amongst the thick brush being the world's largest bird they're unable to fly due to that large size although their eyesight is rather poor so they often don't know that poachers are there until it's too late uh, that's actually a southern white rhino. Their numbers aren't huge, but they're doing much better than the northern white rhino. Does anyone know how many northern white rhino are left in the world today? Yeah, only two of them. They're both females, so we'll probably see their extinction in our own lifetime. I believe there's an animal in front of a truck a little bit farther ahead of us, so it could be a moment or two, maybe two weeks for us to get going again. Everyone have enough time off of school and work for two weeks here in the reserve? Good to hear. <laughs> Told some people that in mid-March and ended up as a four-month safari for us. <laughs> Definitely still a great view of those uh, pines down the edge of the Kopis. Did any of you see the Lion King in theaters last year? Yeah. Uh, the, roar, uh, the director of that movie was trying to be very accurate to all the animals in that movie and came out to visit uh, the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, brought some audio recording equipment. Uh, the roars of the lions in that movie are actually that female right there. Yeah. Thanks for being patient. At least we have a great view of these lions. Definitely a cool sight of them. Now, there's only about 20,000 lions in the wild today. 25 years ago, there were over 40,000 lions in the wild. Now, the Disney Wildlife Conservation Fund has actually teamed up with over 30 organizations in hopes of getting those numbers back up. Oh, very cool. I see some uh, more white rhinos ahead to our left. Yeah. Also another ostrich. Yeah, each of these rhinos is probably over 5,000 pounds. Uh, ostrich can actually run over 30 miles an hour. Also a bontabak just on the other side of those white rhinos. A bontabak are very rarely seen in the wild anymore, just on reserves like this. At one point there were only 17 left in the entire world. That's why it's so important to have reserves just like this to protect our wildlife. Also some ostrich eggs there. Ostrich eggs often weigh about 3 pounds, take 45 days to hatch.
While many reserves such as our own have been expanding in recent years in the hopes of meeting the needs of more wildlife, ours recently expanded through these gates into an area known as the Glen. Hopefully we'll find some wildlife that may have recently joined us here in our reserve in the Glen today. While well, we are approaching the end of our reserve, so I'll take you back to the warden's post. Uh, from there, it's a short walk to Gorilla Falls, where hopefully you can find some more wildlife. So make sure you check that out today. Also, back in the village of Harambe, you can hop on the train to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Over there at Rafiki's Planet Watch, you can actually uh, see our veterinarian hospital and see what the vets are up to for the day. No two days are ever the same. I've seen them do a dental cleaning on a lion and vaccines on the wild dogs, all different types of things. No two days are ever exactly the same. Also, you can learn how to draw some of your favorite creatures or characters at the Animation Academy there. And make sure you come back and see us again here at Kilimanjaro Safaris. I know two safaris are ever exactly the same. The animals seem to make sure of that for us. And here in Africa, we don't like to say goodbye. We prefer to say kwaharini. They didn't go well. So kwaharini, everyone. Ah, Sanzi Sana, thank you. Well, make sure you double check those seats and make sure you have all your belongings prior to exiting. And for those of you that are wilderness explorers, you've been riding a symbol. 